Oh my god. So we did the the first video, the Drake video, um, Family Matters. Which I just realized like is a reference to well, it is pulled more or less from the T V show with uh, Steve Urkel, which <laughs> Then maybe Drake is calling Kendrick Steve Urkel. I, I feel like that would fit too. But uh, Family Matters, we just did that video. I got to get that shit, like, at least a little bit up, a little edited, get that shit uploaded. Uh, I don't know if that's, my internet's been fucked recently. So we'll see if that, like, has any any effect on all this. But I'm going to try to get that uploaded, and then we're going to get this going. I think I'm going to do a live stream, actually, and just kind of, like, sit there and, like, just... I, don't, I really don't have much to say for a live stream. Like, the live stream would have been doing, like, these two. I don't have a community to do, like, the live stream, though. Like, unless niggas just want to... Anyway, I'm, I may just go live and just see what happens. I don't know if I can go live on my, my computer, but we'll see. Um, all that being said, though, uh, Kendrick shit. Again, six minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, Euphoria is around that time. I don't even know what to say. He dropped this, like, 20 minutes after Drake shit dropped. I need to listen to any of the time of them dropping because I was like about to go to bed and these niggas decided to just have war at like fucking like what time is it like 12 CST so these niggas having one war at like 11 CST basically which I guess it's like for non wash niggas like not really meaning much of nothing but as a wash nigga bro as a nigga that's at 25 already wash bro I don't know what to say um Anyway, I don't know. I, I don't even feel like doing the preamble because I already did the preamble in the first video. But basically, I had it uh, Kendrick 1-0 in the first round. Uh, Family Matters, especially the, the third verse. Because I think the first verse, like, basically only, like, real... I guess, like, there's, there's like, one piece of, like, real substance in both of them. The first one is, like, day free, like, basically, like, fuck Kendrick's wife and, like, one of his kids might be day freeze. And the third verse, it's, like... You know, he, he beat his wife, he beat his, he beat the girl that, like, he tried to make his wife and didn't work out. So, I guess it's two pieces of information, that third verse. But, that's what those are, and it sounds fucking fired. Drake wrapped his ass off, I don't know who wrote it. It might have been Drake, it might have been the fucking sky, it might have been Daylight, I don't know. I, I just got that light pack, I didn't even, like, get the light pack shit from the first song. And that I even saw the first song, from like that, like, it was like that, mentioned that shit. Um... <laughs> Kendrick is good as fucking rapping. Uh, so let's see if Kendrick still got it. The nuclear bomb that was hypothesized by Joe Button and all those other different parties was draped, dropped by Drake. So let's see if Kendrick, who clearly has the end on when Drake is dropping, uh, where Drake is moving, uh, how Drake is feeling at any given time of the day. This nigga got, like, a rain camera and Drake's, like, fucking crib. I don't know, but let's get it. Oh, by the way, I won't have audio playing in this. It's just gonna be me listening to this shit. Uh, I figured the lyrics might work better, uh, because... Wait, what the fuck? I, wait, hold up. I picked the lyric. What the fuck? Huh? They, they, they did a switch out. What the fuck? Okay, uh, so the lyrics are at the bottom. Okay, or so I guess I'm just gonna be skimming through the fucking lyrics in the description like it's fucking, like it's like t t 2010 uh, fucking what's that shit called? Vivo? Do people still have Vivo? You know, like every artist like had like an artist page. All right, let's, they don't have Vivo anymore. I guess. All right, funky ass beat. I like your production so far in this beef. All right, so he's going for, like, a kind of another, like, let me sit down and talk to you type beginning. I don't know what's going to sound like in the, you know, as we kind of progress, because beat switch-ups have been very common so far. But uh, he's he's just addressed Adonis Graham. So this is where we're at right now. <laughs> Listen, he's, he's talking to, to the kid. And is saying, I wish your dad was never born. By the way, the thing that's like the most important part, I'm, I know I'm like pausing and playing like fucking, you know, I'm like fuck flush at this point, just the way I'm stopping the fucking song, but like the most relevant part of the song, I already seen spoiled because literally it's like the, apparently the biggest like bomb drop of this.
Is he referring to the Diddy shit? Because Diddy pissed on a uh, 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 Drake allegedly. All this is allegedly, by the way, Drake. Please don't get my video taken down. Uh, but allegedly, like, f I think it was like maybe seven years ago, something like that. Uh, Diddy pissed on on Drake. So I think that's what he's talking about. <laughs> Damn. Don't have a kid to hide a kid again. Okay, so this is what they're talking about. Uh, I'll get into when he mentioned it, but I think he's going to go into it a little bit deeper. But this is, he's saying like there's a second kid basically. This is a five percenter type shit he's talking about. Just plays when you're eighteen. Oh, oh, he's gonna talk to all the kids. That's the that's what the title. That he's gonna talk to all the not all the kids, all the grams. Okay, um, so that's the first verse, and uh, he's talking to Donald Graham. Uh, the, the the relevant key points here. I'm a little bit, I'm an internet nigga, so I got some of this shit kind of figured out, so to speak. Um, obviously, like, kind of like, yeah, you know, fucking. <laughs> I look at him and wish your grandpa would have wore a condom. That is a crazy line to be talking to somebody's son saying that shit. Uh, let's see. You're a good kid, GKMC. Uh, don't never let a man piss in your leg, son. And that's, that's like an old adage as well, but I think he's referring to, like, Diddy. Uh, pissing on Drake. If you die right there, pop that man in the head. Yeah. Um, never fell in the escort business. That's bad religion. Uh, code switch you a black man. So that's pretty much like, kind of like, stop being, don't be like, don't be like Drake, don't be like a fucking coon. Um, this is the, the, you know, Drake cheating to like get the abs, you know, get a gym membership. And this is the Brazilian, the, the BBO shit Rick Ross is talking about. Um, don't be ashamed about who you with. That's how you treat your moms. Your mom's a whore. You know, as Sophie knows better is your baby mother. Clean up her IG, but the stitches on her. 5%, the 5% is, you know, Kendrick is a very, uh, militant uh, individual. So let's get into it. So this is going to be to Sandra. Very funky ass beat, by the way. So no beat switch. To both the parents. Okay. I wonder if this is like a distortion thing. Or a uh, distortion. <laughs> a horrible fucking person. That's like this. Ooh. Ooh, he's going to do it, he's going to do it, he's going to do it, he's fucking going to do it, he's going to do it, he's going to be the fucking pedophile. <laughs> Let's fucking go, Gidrick. Kings of a nympho fetish. You understand, be the beer, just fit a better. Let's go. Hunter fucking Schaefer! Hunter fucking Schaefer! <laughs> He's calling Drake a gay pedophile! Ooh. Let's go! <laughs> Let's fucking go, boy! Whoa, 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 whoa.
Wait, what? Whoa. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Yeah. Wait, hold up. Um let me let me show you a tweet real quick. Someone just liked it, so that's that's why I just gotta put a I got a D D and D going, but uh this is a tweet I made after second second so off rip off rip we already knew like Kendrick Kendrick's, I, I trust Kendrick. Kendrick said he had moles in that nigga's camp. I trust Kendrick. I don't know about anybody else. I, I trust Kendrick. M me personally. But if you didn't trust Kendrick before, Kendrick had this. Kendrick wanted to keep it rap. He asked that nigga twice to keep it rap. He asked that nigga twice to keep it rap. Twice to keep it rap. And. He, he, I just scrolled down the feed and I saw the, the shit that's supposed to come in his third verse again. He asked the nigga twice to keep it rap, and he knew that this this song here was not gonna keep it rap. If that doesn't tell you that he had niggas in in OVO sweatshop, I don't know if it's OVO Brian. I don't know if it's OVO Ryan. I don't know if it's G Jordan. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Party desk door. I don't know. But you got some nigga that's high up in the camp that like he already knew what, what was gonna happen in the the song I just reviewed, and he just went ahead and, and put it on ten. Um, yeah, this nigga smoked Drake. I and th to me, like it was impossible for Kendrick to win or, or Drake to win. It, it was if if any of this pedophile shit was real or the him like getting fucked by Hunter Schaefer shit was real. It was impossible for Drake to win. It it couldn't happen. There's nothing Kendrick kept. Uh, now listen, I didn't know about him beating his wife. I I didn't know about that. I will say, t domestic abuse is a lot more material than I thought Drake had on Kendrick by a long shot. It's domestic. I, I would say domestic abuse is not as bad. We're like talking about Stalin as Hitler at this point, but I would say like domestic abuse is like a. A ten, and like pedophilia is like a twenty-seven. So, so I mean, I think like Kendrick needs to explain the pedophilia, uh, not the pedophilia, the uh, the beating his wife part. I think that needs to come into focus at some point. But this is like niggas fighting the mud. I don't know what the third round is. Drake said this nigga was not gonna respond. He's gonna go on vacation. You're not going nowhere, nigga. You better get back in that fucking booth. You better drag Majee Jordan back in that shit. You better get daylight back in that shit. I know Daylight diss Drake, but you better get Daylight back in that shit. Haley Joel Osment, you better get all them niggas back in that booth right the fuck now, nigga. You're not going on no vacation. You're not leaving on fucking diddling kids and shit. If 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 Diddy could if uh fucking R. Kelly could get away that shit, nigga, you can't either. Am I still recording? I don't even know. This this third verse is going to the This third verse is real. I don't <laughs> this thing is smoke Drake in two. He got a third verse. There's three more minutes left with this fucking song. Look at that. That's three twelve. That's six thirty two. There's three more minutes. There's one more bombshell. And this nigga had this shit ready to go fifteen minutes after Drake dropped this shit. Drake tried to go on vacation. That nigga dragged him by his fucking collar and said three two one. No Cancun for you, bitch ass nigga. Get back in the fucking booth, motherfucker. This nigga coming out like fucking Teddy Brook shot, goddammit. This is a third verse, nigga. His two verses eclipse Drake's seven minute thirty eight song, nigga. Two the two the, the the this part right here eclipsed that shit. This this like this this maybe this right here. I, I think maybe this right here. Oh, uh, cause uh, Chubbs was Chubbs was a a, a sex trafficker, right? Is that what is this this referring to right here? I think is that I think Chubbs is a sex trafficker. Uh so I think that's what he's referring to. <sighs> this is a third verse on here, bro. Him and Weinstein should get fucked up in the cell for the rest of their life. He hates black women, hypersexualizes them, kink for the nympho fetish. 
grew facial hair because you understand being a beard just fit him better. A beard is someone who like does low key DL shit. He's asked LeBron and Curry to keep their fucking kids away from this nigga. There's a third verse, nigga. This that that's just, just that, that was two verses. I don't even want to listen to it. I don't want to listen to third verse. I really don't. I know what's supposed to be said. If if it's real, Drake is like. How old is Drake? Let's let's check real quick. I only, I didn't even show the tweet by the way. The tweet I already tweet out. Kendrick is baiting Drake into a potential career ender, and I didn't think that was a possibility in this beef. I didn't think niggas' careers could be fundamentally changed from this beef. And I I will give Drake. If Kendrick is beating his wife, unfortunately, domestic abuse does not matter enough in hip hop. I mean, Kendrick's OG in West Coast hip hop, Dr. Dre proved that. Um, but I do think it affects like this is supposed to be, like the, you know, the savior or you know the, this nigga that's supposed to be, like this hol- holistic angel figure in a sense for hip hop. Uh, him beating his wife. Matters a lot for his image, but unfortunately, I don't think domestic abuse matters enough in hip hop. Um, Drake's age, so we're gonna start the third verse. Drake is 37, so 37, 2024. Just keep that in mind. Third verse. <laughs> There's no more lyrics. How do you know the child? This is another fucking verse. <laughs> this is another fucking verse. <laughs> this nigga went four p.m. This is a four fucking verse.
fuck a rap battle. This is a long life battle with yourself. Nigga, what the fuck? Apparently the piano is from Twin Peaks. Uh, Alchemist might have... I think Alchemist put some Twin... He might have produced this one. Um, qu quickest response to this in all of history. Yeah, it, I think it might be. Um, yeah, Drake is out of his fucking... Drake is out of here. I, I don't know what... I, I don't know. Like, I don't... what, <laughs> Bro... Family Matters, like, was a headshot, and this nigga went, like, knee on the Matrix and, like, ducked the bullet. Like, I mean that. Like, he ducked the bullet. The Ozempic, this is, like, a uh, Ozempic, uh, on the, the shit, uh, this right here. Got the MMG gloves, Rick Ross. Uh, Nadine goes in, I don't know who that is. I guess he's, like, prescriptions for his, his shit. Uh, maybe his chains, jewelry reference, I don't know. But that's the only Zempic shit. Um, yeah, I don't. This, this is what it looks like when, like, you see, like, the Lakers against the Nuggets, and you have, you know, the last few years, you have, you know, a past prime, like, second best player of all time, LeBron. You have AD, like, kind of in the prime AD. A good team. A good team that probably would have made the finals if the Nuggets didn't exist, you know, one of these two years. Uh, and sometimes, like, all you are just, like, you're just good enough. And you're nothing better than that. You're just good enough to compete that day. But you run up against a team that's better than good enough. They don't miss. Jokic gets the ball. You double. He finds Aaron Gordon the alley -oop. You double, he finds Jamal Murray. You double, he finds Michael Porter Jr. He finds KCP. You try to double Jamal Murray, he passes out, he finds somebody. I, you, there's no option. There's no solution to the problem. You just hope that they have a bad day. And that's all Drake could have done in this beef, is hope that Kendrick had a bad day. And Kendrick did have a bad day, but it wasn't the way that Drake wanted it to be, unfortunately. This beef is over. There's no response. I, Drake can respond if he wants to. It's up to him. There's nothing else he has. I mean, unless he has a video of him fucking Whitney Lamar, whatever her last name is in this situation. Unless he has fucked Whitney. All right. He at least has proof. I don't think the, the, the baby shit may matter. I don't. He, the thing is. The problem is like we you has to get past rap at this point. It can't be rap anymore. To me, Kendrick already took a pass rap. I mean, we talk about dude being a pedophile, being gay, which he's alluded to now in multiple songs, but, like, that's kind of came out through. I still like he's even come out with it yet. Like, I still, like, he gave half a bar to the, like, the Weinstein shit is the most, like, easily visible point of him, like, basically saying Trick's a pedophile. And he mentioned on the next two bars, like, Drake having a beer, being gay. He didn't even, like, go into that in depth. He could still do that. Like, this... I To me, what I said in the first one is that if he says that, if he goes to that, he can't... Like, Drake can't win. I said at the beginning of this video, your hip-hop credibility is finished. What little he had, I don't know, because, I mean, it seems like everybody in hip-hop wanted him dead based on the past two months. But whatever he had left, like, is, like, out. Him being, like, 
gay and a pedophile. Like I don't. There's no coming back from that. The, the, he does not need to be a response for Drake's su- success, continued success in hip hop or music. Period. Drake needs to lose this beef. He gave the this is his that LeBron having thirty five or whatever in a game four in the Western Conference Finals last year. This is that for him. Like this is a man that like you did not expect this level of performance from at this point in his career. Family Matters was incredible. Like that was, I would say a nine out of ten diss at least. Like it was incredible. He still went and like ethered four niggas, and did it very well. And then like said shit that like many people did not know about Kendrick. I didn't know he beat his wife, and he did that very well. And then he lost. Like this is over with. It's over. Kendrick says worse better than Drake says worse. It can't be worse anymore. He has to fuck Drake's uh, Kendrick's baby mama. There's oh no other. He has to. I said this in this the previous video I just uploaded today. What well, today? Yesterday. Super ugly. What made super ugly the Trump card that Hove always had was that he he had sex with Nas's wife, but he didn't do it in a tactful way to where you could use it. He like he just like I've left. Condoms on your baby, your baby's uh, car seat or whatever. Which I, I mean, to me, like I, I to me, the, the problem was that like he didn't do it in a way that was respectful to like rap. Like his shit was not like well put together. It was just like him like basically like, just throwing out random ass punches. Like Jay Z was just like Jay Z lost with Ether and he was like I can't go down without a fight. So like he just started throwing hands. And the problem was that like none of the shit connected. Like none of it was just. It was still incredible punches. Like. The shit probably would cut the air. It's like a fucking bronze bomber, a uh, prime wilder punch that would just like cut through air, but it didn't connect to anything. And that's what super ugly was. And that, to me, that's all like that's all Drake can do at this point is like buy his net song, whatever that is. He has to like have sex with. But the problem is he's locked himself into this point. He, he whatever he has to do has to be basically within a week or two because that's that's how Drake has like done his own like timelines or whatever like, he has to be within about a week or so in his response and he's responding on instagram already i can pull up his instagram and close it out here i what else can i say i mean this nigga smoked listen to this fucking song i i, I know i didn't have the lyrics anymore i didn't know kanye was nine years older than drake that's kind of crazy to me but that's that's kind it didn't like give kanye half a bar i don't know how to feel about that i don't know how to feel about this nigga not giving kanye half a bar on that song or on Drake song. Um, what's this nigga's uh, champagne poppy? Nigga's a, a damn two time father. So he's fucking champagne poppy. Uh, so Mirror Time Crody, that was Adonis. Um, who? Ad- Ad- you can't tell me Adonis was like a fucking black person. I, I, I can't. I mean, I guess. Like, you see, like, light skinned people with curly hair all the time. That's like a, a light skinned, light skinned nigga. Like, that's light skinner than Drake. Denzel Washington piece, uh, caution tape. Uh, he's about to press the button. That's two hours ago, one hour ago. Him like taking a picture like this, like like, like what are you talking about, nigga? Nah, hold on. Can someone find my hidden daughter, please? Send her to me. These guys are in shambles. <laughs> Family matters. So he put Family Matters on uh on streaming already, I guess, because this, this is like Apple Music or whatever. And uh, he also. I didn't even like realize this when I first heard the song. Like the whole twenty minute video I did for Family Matters, but like the Family Matters, like I said at the top of this video, the whole thing is like derived from the TV show. So I'm trying to piece together what I know and go pick up the piece of your broken home. That's the post that he made for this. Um, yeah, 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 Kendrick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Drake. Drake came with a heater, man. Drake came with an all-time great track, and that shit like didn't matter, bro. <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, I still gotta give the nigga mad respect. He did his fucking thing. I mean, that song is is tough to say the very least. That nigga deserves all the props in the world for coming up with that. Cause I didn't think he could do even that on, on whatever this was gonna be. Probably matters ended up being what it was. I kind of knew he was going to go for the whole, like, you know, but it's, 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 it's completely over. It, it is, uh, 
110 percent over um i'm gonna go get the first one uploaded family matters i'm gonna get this one uploaded uh i'm gonna spin these back a few times i don't know what to do like i don't know what to do as far as like a a, a third video but i feel like things are better in threes <laughs> victory 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 is done man J. Cole, you were one smart motherfucker because they it would have been tough to do it because J. Cole like didn't J. Cole doesn't have dirt like that, but the problem is with J. Cole like no one would have been rooting for J. Cole to win that beef. J. Cole <laughs> J. Cole <laughs>